Hello everybody, welcome to Nature Calls, Anthony here, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my experience so far installing and driving with uh, the Unplugged Performance uh, Aero Lip for the Model 3. Uh, this aerodynamic lip slides over uh, the bottom half of your front bumper, and it's supposed to help with uh, the aerodynamic performance of your car. And if you combine this with some of the other things they sell in their aero kit, such as uh, the carbon spoiler for the back end and or lowering your car, uh, you can actually increase the range of your vehicle. Uh, I'll have links to that in the description if you want to see uh, a study that was done on their uh, aerodynamic parts by a third party but for this video we're not going to get into that and if it actually increased my range I'm going to just tell you and show you um, you know my experience installing it how it came shipped to me and things like that just to give you an idea in future videos I will get into uh, the numbers of seeing if this actually does what it's supposed to do or you know at least what the studies say it's supposed to do um, I'll try to give you the best real world testing possible. I have been testing out the car with it with it not on. Uh, so we're gonna be comparing numbers and seeing how it goes. All right, so first off, how does it come shipped? It comes shipped in a big old box that says Unplugged Performance on it. And um, yeah, you actually have to pay for uh, freight shipping for this bad boy. Um, it didn't actually come freight, at least not what it was written on the truck. It actually looked like it just came regular FedEx ground. Um, I did order both the front lip and the spoiler at the same time, but uh, satin carbon fiber spoilers from Unplugged for the Model 3 at this point in time are currently back ordered. So that did uh, not help my cause. So uh, I'll be making another video when uh, the spoiler finally does come in, but for the box, um, it's definitely a big one. Um, it weighs a, a fair amount, but uh, nothing crazy. It's actually pretty light. We'll get into like the material uh, it's made out of and things like that. Um, as for packaging though, as you can probably see, uh, they just put uh, the lip in here and they just kind of staple it in with a piece of a strip of cardboard and some like uh, metal tabs and it's the same for the top and uh, the bottom. Uh, along with that uh, they actually give you a little baggie that has extended uh, I guess pegs, plastic pegs for helping you attach it under your bumper. Uh, those are also taped inside in a nice little baggie. Um, it shipped really well. Uh, mine wasn't damaged or anything crazy like that. It looked fine. And uh, it was easy to take out. It wasn't a big hassle. All right, so after you get your front lip in and you take it out of the box, what you're probably gonna wanna do is kinda test mount it to your car, see how it fits, and really check things that you may need to trim. For me, I found along some of the edges of the lip, um, I just needed to take a razor and just carefully trim off some excess uh, that wasn't trimmed off previously. Uh, now for me, I purchased the one uh, that was unpainted. You can purchase these painted, it costs more, but you can get them to basically match um, your Tesla. I don't know how accurate their paint matching is uh, because I personally am slowly working on vinyl wrapping it. As you can see in uh, the, uh, the corner over here, I'm starting to play with some vinyl there. Um, hence why I wanted to shoot this video before I vinyl the whole thing, so I can still give you guys a good idea on what it actually looks like stock before you, you vinyl it. Uh, you can vinyl it, which is good to know if anybody is interested. Uh, and you can save uh, like 100 bucks buying it unpainted, which really made me happy because I was going to spend the money on vinyl anyway. I am actually going to vinyl this whole car. Um, in white, I know, not that interesting, but I kind of always wanted to vinyl the whole car, and at the same point in time, it's going to help protect the paint anyway from chips and, and light damage. You know, if it gets hit by something big, it's going to have a problem, regardless of what I put on it, basically. Even, even PPF, 
uh, will still get damaged if you get hit by something big enough. Um, with that though, let's take a closer look at the car and I want to go through some of the different like mounting points and things like that and how this uh, lip actually attached up to my bumper and my experience so far with it. So uh, first, before we get into how it attached, uh, let's get into like the material. It's definitely a plastic, uh, but it's, it's a more rubbery plastic. Um, of course, it's already, it's already dirty, uh, but you can see where I did a little bit of, a little, a little bit of trimming. Uh, some of these edges here would stick up a little bit. Um, some good examples would be in here. Yeah, this is vinyl wrapped already, so sorry about that. We're doing some, we're doing some testing on vinyl wrap too. I'm not sure if I want to go all the way over or not, but I'm, I'm playing around with that, so don't, don't, don't mind it. But um, yeah, I took an X-Acto knife to try to trim um, some of that a little bit more flush because it had some little uh, little edges on it probably from when it came out of the mold. Uh, same thing with up here. But I was thinking it was going to be a much more, uh, I guess, stiff plastic. But it's got some it's got some some flexibility to it. It seems really quality, and um, it shouldn't just crack if you hit something hard. It should kind of flex a little bit with it. Um, it's still mounted to the car amazingly well. Um, this uh, sanding here is from Unplugged. It came like that. But uh, overall though, uh, I really do like the material it's made out of and it, it, it seems to be working well. I'm, I'm sure some professional car people will probably have different opinions uh, than mine, but as somebody that's not well versed in this, I think it uh, works pretty great. Now let's get into the mounting. So we're going to come over here and even though this is wrapped, uh, this side here has a piece of tape. Uh, they're using 3M VHB tape. Uh, there's also a piece right here uh, underneath. So those two pieces stick on. Uh, this is actually held on by uh, a piece that runs all the way underneath here, uh, which is pretty cool. And when we get to the other side, of course, this side you can actually see it. Um, they have the tape in the, in the same spots. Now, what is Unplugged doing for uh, the whole bottom? Well, if we come down to the very bottom of the car here, uh, you can see there's a, well, there's some little, little divots here, and in each one of those is an actual peg. Um, if we turn a little bit, uh, there's two pegs here that stay. There are the stock pegs. You end up removing uh, the six pegs that are in the very front, so there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Those you end up pulling out, those are the ones that come stock with Tesla. You then have extra long ones that are from unplugged, and you just plug those in <laughs> into the holes instead of the short ones from Tesla. Uh, you actually have to screw them in with a screwdriver. It doesn't damage your car or anything though. And then, uh, of course, when we get to the other side, it's the same story. You still keep the two original ones from Tesla, and your whole thing is all nicely buttoned up. So overall, I think this Unplugged Performance front lip here is really cool. I think they did a really good job designing it, uh, both on the aerodynamics part and the installation. Of course, we're gonna find out a lot more about the aerodynamics when I really thoroughly test it out. Uh, so far, it seems so good. Um, we'll wait to see how long it takes for me to get uh, the carbon fiber spoiler in from them. That'll be the real test. Uh, now, just hitting on their numbers that they put out, uh, you're supposed to get something like 14% efficiency gain at around like 75, 80 miles an hour on the highway. Uh, that is with the car lowered. I'm currently not looking to lower mine. So my guess is, and from you know reading uh, their numbers and the third party's testing numbers, I'll probably gain like 7% uh, seven percent more range when driving you know, between like 75, 80 miles an hour. So I've done all my testing before installing this at those speeds. So we will see um, if this actually makes a dent in it because that would be pretty amazing. So I'll have links and everything to this, to the full kit, uh, to uh, the third party study uh, that was done. And uh, you can go check it all out for yourself. Um, it is a little pricey up front, but uh, I think it might work out pretty good uh, long term. I'm excited to find out. So 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And as always, have an excellent day.